Now to work out the force on our proton, and hence the step equation, we're going to need to work out what the magnetic field is at its location. So if we have a wire with a current I flowing up it, I would have a vector L, a unit vector that points along the wire, and our proton is out at some different vector R away. Now in that case, you can work out from Ampere's law that the magnetic field, which is of course a vector field, is equal to some constants, mu naught times the magnitude of the current over 2 pi mod r squared l cross r. Okay, now that's what's got vector stuff in it. How are we going to compute that in our program? Well, if we define x, y, and z, then we know that l is going to be nothing in x direction, nothing in the y direction, one in the z direction, which has unit length, sure enough. So, we have to work out the cross product. Now we know if we have A cross B, from the definition of a cross product, is equal to A, Y, B, X, And if we take R to be I don't know, X, Y, Z, fully general, we can then work out that L cross R is equal to let's see, A, Y. A in this case is L, so that's the Y component of L, which is 0. It's going to be 0 times Z, which is 0, minus the z component of L, which is 1, times the y component of R, which is y. And similarly you get x minus 0 times z, and 0 times y minus 0 times x. So you find that this comes out as minus y, x, 0. So the magnetic field in vector form is going to be mu naught i over 2 pi mod r squared minus y, x, 0.